Good afternoon, everybody. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia, Missouri. Getting you some information on the 2022 Kia Telluride SX Prestige Nightfall in ebony black with dune brown interior. This is an extremely loaded up model. We've got plenty of accessories. We can see crossbars up top. Real quick, everybody give a big shout out and congrats to Ishan. This one's going out to him, so uh, thank you so much. Everybody congratulate him on his configuration here. First up, you can see we've got the, you know, nice new badge there. I think it really pops, you know, big brand statement people. Kia wants people to know that this is a Kia when it's rolling down the highway, if you are unfamiliar. SX is going to give you your premium headlights with orange LED daytime running lights. You've also got fog lights whoa fog lights down below here front parking sensors as well also got your front camera there for your surround view monitor system the nightfall package is going to give you your 20 inch bezel wheels here you've also got a set of side step bars on here crossbars up top you get turn indicators on the mirrors here there's also cameras underneath for again that surround view monitor system and you've got blind spot monitors on the mirrors here as well. Keyless entry, this vehicle also has remote start. You got privacy glass in the rear windows. Nightfall is also blacking out your rail system, uh, darkening the window trim, body side molding down below, and your front and rear bumpers, along with your lettering on the back, even though um, a lot of the badging was removed for 2022 to again, make that big old Kia symbol stand out. So very nice. We've got a heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer here. Backup camera, power lift gate with smart lift gate features that we're gonna be doing a demo of later. We've also got rear parking sensors on here. Sean also elected to go with the tow package here, which gets you the two inch receiver, seven pin connection, the self-leveling rear suspension. There's also a extra wiring harness for a trailer brake sitting in the glove box as well want to get that hooked up so beautiful vehicle the uh the ebony black is definitely tough very tough for sure very aggressive looking vehicle i'm liking this one a lot the crossbar has really set it off for me too loving that all right let's go ahead and hop on in here where this wind blows my gimbal to pieces still not happy with it can't believe they made a gimbal that doesn't support an 11 pro max you know all right dji anyways um so before we hop in here we got the dune brown interior let's go ahead and just you know soak that in for a second beautiful beautiful we've got some accessories sitting in the back there but uh sitting right here we're actually gonna hop in there we go we've got some memory seating right here power locks windows and mirrors we've got our combo window child lock here as well Nice and windy and rainy today. By the way, I tried to get an external microphone, guys, and this gimbal is just too weak. So um, we're moving up to a full camera soon, but you know, it's hard to get 4K at 60 frames. You know, if my phone can do it, why can't a camera do it? But uh, you know, checking this out right here, we've got our accessories for dash illumination control, blind spot monitors, lane keep assistance, as well as your traction control and power lift gate option. Then I forgot to mention there is a uh, power folding mirror option right here for the exterior. Those will actually automatically do that uh, with locking and, uh, and unlocking features or when you just approach the vehicle uh, via proximity having the key in your pocket. So on board we've got a Harman Kardon audio system. So we're going to check that out too, of course. Definitely got to do that. Got a leather wrapped steering wheel here. Can unlock that tilts and telescopes so we're going to get that locked in right there so it's not so close to us we have uh entertainment on the left hand side of the steering wheel here whoops bonk we've got uh voice recognition audio sources volume control with this treaded button so that you can feel that it's pressable without having to look traction i'm sorry tracks and presets you've got bluetooth features right here as well then the right hand side we've got driving and information tools you're doing a little bit more over here most of the time with the right hand so this page button 
and this pressable OK lever, it's going to control your drive display. And on the SX, you get this nice, large 7-inch display here. So this first screen is just showing off your different drive modes. Since we're here, we'll talk about it. The vehicle has multiple drive modes that you can select. You've got Smart, Sport, Comfort, Eco, and Snow mode. A lot of these are pretty self-explanatory except for Smart. Smart mode will actually change through the ladder of the drive modes for you based on your pedal usage so it'll take you it can take you from an eco all the way to sport or you know it'll step you up or step you down depending on how you're driving so that's going to change how the vehicle is shifting um, how the engine is also performing and how your steering feels too and then for the all-wheel drive capability you know we've got the all-wheel drive lock and that dedicated snow mode over here for when it gets a little crappy out so you've got some different choices there i drive my tell you ride in smart mode most of the time uh, moving on you can also check out fuel economy information from right here uh, accumulation info is usually from oil change to oil change uh, your drive info is typically from fuel chain or last fueling or you know last restart after you know decent period of time then you've got your digital speedometer Moving over, the vehicle does have navigation, standard feature on the Telluride. So this will show you your current direction and then turn by turn information if you're actually using the navigation system. Then you've also got your safety and convenience screen. So this will show you when your lane keep assist is active by showing the lines being registered on the road. If you have the smart cruise activated, you can see the Telluride backs up. You've got your digital readout right here. This will show you when a vehicle is also in front of you too. Uh, moving down, we've got our driver attention system, paying attention to how you're uh, driving, you know, just to make sure you're okay. If it notices you're kind of slacking by accelerating kind of crazily, braking hard, veering, following too closely, um, all things associated with fatigue driving, this is going to let you know maybe it's time to take a break and switch out. It's already, you know, tracking. It's been eight minutes since I've turned the vehicle on. This is your all-wheel drive screen. Kind of cool to have on uh, when the weather is crappy. You can kind of confidently see where power is being distributed to. This also does show you the uh, position of the front wheels and their steering angle. So you can kind of check that out too. It's pretty, pretty cool. You know, this is an off-road all-wheel drive screen. It's nice. Uh, then you've got onboard tire pressure information too. The settings on this are pretty expansive. So uh, we've got our heads up display first and foremost. Yes, it does have one of those. It's kind of hard to film, but you can see that tiny little zero. And then I can actually go to brightness and jack that up a little bit. It becomes a little bit more prevalent. We can change the content that's on here. Blind spot safety info. I'm gonna get it all turned on uh, for my man, Ishan. Um, you can check, you know, you can change the size of your speedometer. You can change the color if you want. Um, you know, of course, change the height or rotation or completely turn it off if you'd like to, too. All your assistances, you can go through here and, you know, go from, you know, just assisting or warning. You know, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So um, moving down to the doors, this is where I want to dig into. We want to make sure that our smart liftgate feature is on for later in the video. Lights, uh, one touch turn signal. This is an SX, so um, I'm going to put this on seven flashes because when you turn the blinker on, it turns the camera on. So I can just nudge this. It'll keep the blinker on for basically seven seconds. You have that camera for seven seconds. Everybody around you knows what you're trying to do, right? If they're paying attention to the road. So you can just have that on and nudge that. And instead of actually keeping it on the whole time, or you can, you know, just convenience. We're living in the future. So we're going to leave that on there. You know, Sean can definitely change it later. Uh, sound, let's get our welcome sound on. It's the cherry on top for the luxury. Uh, convenience this stuff is all pretty standard uh, case by case so I'm gonna leave it alone service intervals you can track that tell your rides for 2022 need to be serviced every 8,000 miles all right and that's that's about it for the settings here so I just want to make sure those few things were on real quick very nice system um, again over here we've got our cruise control system uh, with the smart cruise feature so 
you can choose four different following distances. Uh, this cruise control system is actually so advanced with the highway drive assist. If you actually set the cruise control speed to the speed limit or something relative to it, it'll actually slow down through turns, you know, engage in the steering a little bit more for you. It's, it's really cool downshift for you while going down hills. It's it's nice. This car drives for you. It's, it's really cool. Um, so, um, all right, that's pretty much it for that. Um, and this left-hand wand, we've got automatic headlights with our fog light controls here. Since we have the premium headlights, we have high beam assist. So your auto high beam icon is coming on right there. You also saw the blind view monitor system. Right hand one is for your front and rear wipers. We do have an auto feature, so we can actually bring this one tick down, and leave it on auto. And even though the frequency meter is all the way up there, um, this isn't going to do anything for the rest of the time here. It's actually really cool. That, when this is in auto, this actually just changes the speed of the wiper a little bit too. But, um, so really, really cool feature. So you can just leave it alone and, um, there's no water on it right now, but maybe we'll get some rain and we'll see it in action. But otherwise, just remember before you go into a car wash. But I also recommend don't use car washes. All right. <laughs> okay, so um, we're good here. Let's take a look up real quick. We haven't even talked about the front sunroof or the uh, rear sunroof right here. It's got an automatic sunshade. That is a fixed piece of glass back there just nice natural light for when the sun's out like this on a cooler day. Um, and you've got, of course, moonroof capability with the front here. Nice little wind diffuser coming out right there. So no wind noise or any vacuum sounds or feelings. Um, just a nice cool breeze. Close that up right there. Up top here, we've got our Uvo Link controls. You get that for a whole year with the vehicle. So. Um, that's going to allow you to remote start, uh, lock the doors. There's a bunch of safety features. You can set speed alerts, curfew alerts for like teen drivers. Uh, remote vehicle theft um, is a button that just got added to, so that's really cool. You can do all kinds of stuff in there. Set remote start schedules. Felt lined sunglass holder is right here. Sunroof controls. We've got lighting controls. It's full LED um, all throughout the cabin here. Also got our door light. We'll go ahead and turn that on. That'll turn the lights on and dim them with the doors opening and closing. Then of course, we've got our uh, auto dimming rear view mirror here with our Homelink garage controls. Down below is our 10.25 inch navigation screen and our entertainment center with Sirius XM powered by Harmon Cardon. We've got uh, actually one, two, three, four, five speakers just up front here and then uh there's two per door back here so there's four more so we're already up to nine then there's two more speakers in the back with a subwoofer as well so 12 very cool very nice speaker system too you can see we've got some dual application here let's go ahead and just head back to the beginning though this is your nice little screensaver you've got you know time temperature media map and your user profile so you can save all of your settings and preferences you just swipe on over here here is your app suite we've got our map nav phone projection which is your apple carplay and android auto which you need a hardwire connection for on this uh, you got your voice memos you can put the vehicle in a valet mode which will let you know if somebody has driven this uh SUV further than a mile from your drop-off point with the valet. You've also got passenger talk. You can turn this on. It's a family feature. So you can uh, hear everybody in the vehicle for, you know, first row to third row communication. Um, you know, it just uses all the speakers inside to help you communicate. There's a few microphones within the vehicle as well, too. So it's a very, very cool feature. Um, you can leave this on if you want. And again, you can run multiple applications. You can set it to a favorite button right here as well. For quick access, you can hit end here or just hit your end phone call button too. You've also got quiet mode. Um, you know, feel free to read this. It's gonna reroute all the volume to the front speakers and turn it down to seven so people can be uh, peacefully sleeping in the back. We've got rear climate controls, which you can bring up on screen. Um, you can go ahead and just hit auto right there and we're going to hit sync and we're going to get this turned up to 72 that way the whole cabin is you know nice 
and uh, at an even temperature, but also the system does auto defogging and auto dehumidification. So you're keeping that moisture and stuff out of the vehicle as well when you're using the auto features for the system. So uh, very, very cool system for sure. Let's get these vents moved down here. Let me turn that up just a little bit more because I don't need anything right now. But uh, we've got our HD radio data. Uh, has nothing to do with high definition, by the way. That's their own disclaimer. It's mostly traffic, weather, and travel info. Get your radio. Let's hop into these settings, too, real quick. We've got some things to play with. So we've got uh, our vehicle settings. We're going to go ahead and go to our lights, ambient lighting. And we're going to turn the headlights on real quick so we can get some nighttime views here. All right, so we're going to jack the brightness up real quick because wide angle filming, um, there's it, the, if the light's not amazing, you know, we're going to kind of get it washed out. But um, we can choose any of these colors. Let's go with dreamy purple. Dreamy purple. I love showing off dreamy purple. And if we look under here, there is actually a purple LED strip as well as on the door right here and the rear doors as well it's really easy to see back here maybe there we go yeah so you got this ambient lighting all throughout the vehicle you can also set a custom color you can choose 64 different colors so you can pick whichever one you want and if we want to go with that red well boom then we've got red so really cool feature uh we'll just leave it on there for now and then uh ishan you know what to do so you can change that color at any time, just in case red's not your thing. And then from here, we wanna go into the sound. Make sure you've got your Quantum Logic surround on and your bass boost to get the most out of this system. And then a recommended tune I'm gonna provide here. I think this right here just sounds great. Great, nice and balanced. Um, other than that, that's, that's pretty much it for this right here. You can kind of see everything self-explanatory, very direct. Got some nice large vents right here. Analog controls centrally located with your hazard lights here. Volume, tuning. Then we've got our climate area right here. We've got our heated steering wheel option. Heated and cooled seats as well. There, It's three-step in either way. You can actually go into these settings here. If we go into vehicle, climate, Automatic ventilation. Let's see here. Climate features. Now there's there's an option in here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Heated ventilated features. You can actually set them to automatically turn on based on the heat as well. Another smart feature, as you can see. So it'll automatically step it up and down and keep in mind guys the rear seats are also heated and cooled so this technology is for four seats it's it's really cool <laughs> all right so we'll leave that on as well um that uh but you can see this is a tri-climate system there's ventilation uh above and below on all three rows and in the hatch um, you can just leave it on auto it's going to be optimal for you we've got some storage down here with the piano black finish just mash this let it bottom out really got to let it bottom out um, and you can see you've got some nice storage as well as wired charging got two usbs this one also does data uh, the 12 volt and a wireless charging pad right here as well front door well, actually all doors need to be closed for that system to work i think that's just kind of a safety feature maybe not sure just letting you know though uh, storage cup holders with some pressure tongs we got the shifter nice leather wrapped feel here feels great uh, let's go ahead and put it in reverse we're going to check out our backup camera oh i think i left the sticker on there looks a little hazy there's a little blue sticker on there right now yep look at that <laughs> whoops but um anyways we can see the idea here so we've got our surround view monitor system we've also got our backup camera here clear view of the bumper and then real quick we also put this in reverse this pops up as well there's uh, parking sensors and then you can also angle down the mirrors or set the selector to the neutral position for your mirrors and it'll go back up but you can kind of look down there at your wheels if you're close to some curbs or anything 
But here you can see we've got projected pathing when I'm turning the wheel. The yellow lines showing you where you're gonna be traveling to so you can project if you will be bumping into another vehicle or hitting the curb or anything like that. You see, you know, if I tried to hang it all the way left, I would still be able to turn all the way around. I've given myself enough space over there. So um, the blue box over here is showing you where you're at in real time. As long as nothing is in between these sidelines, theoretically, you're not gonna impact with anything is how that technology works, even though you've got this nice wide angle view. Um, but we can also do a rear overhead view with the toe hitch, sides being represented, nice center line there. We can also check out the rear wheels if we need to. Uh, let's go ahead and put the vehicle in drive, but while we do that, I'm gonna show you auto hold too. We're gonna press this. When we press that button, auto hold pops up in the top right corner there, see that? Now I'm gonna put the vehicle in drive. That text has now turned green. With that feature active, I can now remove my foot from the brake there. There's actually a nice chrome finish on those. A little bit of plastic still left in the vehicle. But um, you now see we've got a front camera view here. We can do a global overhead view with tire pathing up front here, as you can see, right? And then we can also check the front wheels again. Checking that out, making sure we're not curbing those nice things right there. Those are very expensive, let me tell you. And we're also checking out our front pathing here on the surround view. Now, you can also zoom in if you need a closer look, or if you need a bigger field of vision, you can zoom out as well. It gets better, that's right. So that's that's pretty much the driving system there. You've got some manual shifting capability here, of course, you know, but we'll put that back in park. And the auto hold system works with your electric parking brake. You'll usually see these two features um, hand in hand. You've got a camera view button, which is what turns the camera system on at low speeds for you. So you can, you know, be in full control in the parking lot. You've got parking sensors right here, nice center console with an extra sunglass holder and a USB port. The glove box is full of owner's manuals, wiring harnesses, little Telluride gift bag, all kinds of stuff. And it's all felt line too, so you can keep your sensitive items in there and keep them locked and stowed away. So that's it for the front seating area, but let's not forget these very important visors that are mirrored and they're, uh, and they're lit. They've got a clip telescopic notice how the light turns off there because it's such a smart car and since this is a prestige we've got the beautiful premium headliner some say it's suede others say it's alcantara i really don't know that's why it's just premium <laughs> but um that's it for the front seating area let's go ahead and turn it off two Actually, three things happen there. The electric parking brake just engaged. You heard the welcome sound on the exit portion. And the seat, you saw me kind of pan back. I was actually sliding back with the easy recline feature. So that way it's as easy as possible to get in or out, whoever is gonna be sitting there next, you know? We're not all made the same. Also tidbit, here's a peek at the uh, illuminated scuff plates and sorry it's really windy out still folks so you're just gonna have to bear with me here we'll try and get back in the vehicle and make this sound as nice as possible all right now that we're in here second row captain's chairs we're gonna go ahead and just take a seat in here we've got heated cooled seats which are also three-step for the second row we've got sun shades right here as well so these are great for extra sun coverage it's also great if you have animals you can keep the puppy noses off there this also is for you know kids and their hands and fingers you know a little bit easier that way kind of a deterrent but also a big help in a lot of ways too it also helps diffuse the wind if you have the window down you don't want to get blasted with air but you guys are enjoying that nice you know fresh air We've got dual cargo little bag and net. We've got our grocery bag holders. There's a pair. Rear USB ports, rear cup holders. The Prestige package gets you this nice uh, power inverter down here. You also get a 12 volt outlet, that's standard. Uh, these rear seats here, very nice. We've got our own armrest. Now that looks kind of low, but 
it ratchets up into place based on your seating angle. So when you have this fully reclined, this actually becomes level. So it's, it's really nice, very, very nice. Rear climate controls up top, rear LED lighting, rear ventilation, rear hooks and handles. And let's take a peek again here at the glass. You can see we've got some lights in the rear right here as well. Nice little reading lights, extra vents. Nice space right here. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way real quick to get into the third row. It's one touch slide system. You can see we've got a set of mats here and cargo tray. There is a third row back here, of course. We've got uh, USBs and some extra storage back here too and more speakers. 12 speaker system, folks. Center seat belt. These are not speakers. This is actually uh, rear occupant sensors that are shooting out sonar to match the form factor of the vehicle. And if something seems off, the Telluride's gonna make your phone go off. It's gonna go off. It's gonna say, hey, whoa, you forgot something. Something that you might love. All right, now, combo moment. We're gonna show off the smart lift gate. I am going to lock the vehicle. We're gonna watch the power mirrors fold. I'm going to show you that I have this hand right here and it's having a good time. We're actually gonna check out this very similar looking EX Nightfall that's here for another client. All right, so we're over here. We're checking things out. I've got my hand here and I wanna show you something. All you have to do to get this lift gate to open right here is just come stand next to it. See the tail lights go off, you hear the beep. Four of those and boom, we're open. That was slow enough to where you can just walk by it. Um, or if your hands are full, like mine definitely were, uh, you can just stand here and if it's icy or wet out, you don't have to kick or that won't feel very good, will it? <laughs> so smart lift gate. So it'll, uh, it'll just open on its own. You can adjust the height right here as well. Just kind of firmly grasp this handle. You can move it down slightly if you want to. Hold this for two seconds. Maybe three. But anyways, double chime there, we're good to go. So um, it's pretty dry out right now. So we're gonna take these uh, extra mats out here. This is a cargo tray. Man, what are they? Who did this? This. Give me their name. All right. Put that right there. We've got a nice set of all weather mats here as well. And this is for all three rows, too. All right. A little bit of a cleaner look here. But you can see in storage mode, we've got some great, great storage space here. And if you need some more, no problem. You can fold those two seats down, passenger seats just a little bit too far back, but you can see nice flat plane there. Tons and tons of space, very nice. And you just press these buttons here to make that happen. Got a 12 volt here, here's your subwoofer. Now, say we need a different seating configuration. Say we've got all these seats up, we've got a vehicle full of people, no problem. You can do this one-handed too, just like oh. Okay, boom, boom, and again. You got the baby in your arm or something like that. You can just grab this. Hiya, let go. Bring that up. Space is kind of limited. No worries though. Key is smart. Pull this board up, slide it in right there. So what you can actually do is if you have this cargo tray out, it tri-folds and you can uh, place things very nicely right in between here. These rear seats have angle adjustment on the passenger side too. So very, very cool. Um, in here, we've just got some towing accessories and we've got a set of wheel locks here, except these are the dark chrome lug nuts here that come with the Nightfall package. And here's a key for that. So those are already installed. It's got a special key on here. So no one can jack your sweet wheels unless they want to spend some time doing it. But uh, so you've got some extra storage space right here. Roadside tools are on the side. You've got a spare underneath the vehicle. So that's going to be it for that. We're going to get this locked up real quick. These are spring loaded, by the way. So I'm not by any means throwing those or slamming them down. This is notched. Pressure plate feels good. Nice little rear bumper here. 
Um, this is the rear bumper protector, by the way, for those of you interested. It is a nice extra plastic piece. This is fine. This is good. This is smart. This can be marred. This can be damaged and it's affordable and you can take it off and install another one if it gets chewed up versus your actual bumper. So huge benefit there in my mind. It's not just a, a clear you know, 3M film or anything. You've got something with a little bit more uh, longevity to it, I would say. All right, there we go. Excellent. And this has been a long one, but I wanted to slow down, take my time, show off some of these extra accessories since this is a perfect example. Uh, this particular build configuration is 52700 on the window sticker. We included the cargo tray, the all-weather mats. So, uh, but thank you so much, guys. It's going to wrap it up for this 2022 Telluride. Everybody, real quick, again, give a big shout-out and congratulations to Ishan. Um, I'm really thankful to be able to help people nationwide with these vehicles, and I can't do it without you guys even watching you know, the videos. That's where it all starts. So thanks to all you guys. I really do appreciate you. But uh, everybody give an even bigger shout out to Ishan and give him a congratulations on his awesome ride. Guys, make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you today on this awesome vehicle. Most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles I'm uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. And I know it's getting windy, but I can also help you with your own Telluride. We sell these for MSRP. Currently our administration fee is $349. It can take up to six months with the volume that we have right now. But if we have someone who cancels, we can get you bumped up. Any more information that you really want though, just give me a call, text, email, doesn't matter. My information will be down in the description. Thank you so much for all of your time. Again, my name is Matt Croissant. I work over here at Key of Columbia. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day.